What is Amazon VPC? Well, it stands for Virtual Private Cloud, and it's your way of controlling the network fabric that your Amazon EC2 servers run on. It goes beyond the default, so let's understand the default. When you set up your Amazon AWS instances, you're generating them, they're uh, popping up and, and being available, you're using the default networking. So here's the internet coming into an Amazon region availability zone. We've got uh, inside of here, here's, here's our little, we'll call it a virtual switch, connecting to all of our, our different servers, our instances that we're running inside of that availability zone. By default, Amazon is going to give you IP addresses from the 10.0.0.0.8 network. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to end up with a 255.000 subnet mask on all your servers. They're going to do some subnetting. That's, that's what a slash 8 is. They're just kind of doing it all for you. You're on the same fabric as everybody else at AWS. But don't worry. Don't, oh, they're, they're going to take over my servers. Don't, don't panic. You've got security groups that protect your servers uh, from the, the masses that are out there. So you're thinking, oh, okay, I want to go beyond that. I want to be able to control these. Maybe I don't want the 10 networks, or I just I feel a little more warm and fuzzy if I can do it myself. The first option you have when you create a VPC is public only, which is a little misnomer. You'll see this in the wizard. It's the first bullet in the list. People think, okay, is that a public IP address only? No, actually, it's not. It is a private subnet that you get to define. It just then has straight public internet access. So, for instance, maybe I'm saying, well, I would just feel a little more warm and fuzzy not using the 10 network. I want to use 172.16.1.0, you know, slash 24. That's a class C subnet mask. I want to use, I want to use that subnet and assign the IP addresses as I want to to my individual servers. Then they will go through Amazon's cloud right here or through the through the routed interface to the internet and now we're able to uh, get our internet access you can still use your elastic ip addresses all all of those kind of things and we're good that's public only so if you just want to create your own subnet that's where you go second one is public and private subnets same exact thing but amazon says you know what you even get to control this the way that you do it is you set up your own instance that'll be your nat router your firewall, if you will, uh, to where you're going to go in and set up your own little mappings. A lot of people like doing I like doing that, to where I get to go onto the instance and say, I want to map this public IP address to this private IP address. So essentially, this one box gets all your IP addresses from Amazon and then NATs them through to your devices. You, again, have control. Now it gets cool. Let's talk about the public hardware VPN and private and hardware VPN. I'm actually going to start from the bottom. Let me, let me start at that one first. This is where it all began, meaning I have a business down here sitting in Eugene, Oregon. That's that's where our offices are at. And I've got a whole bunch of client PCs and my own servers and stuff like that. And I, I just wanna I wanna build a VPN up here to the cloud, to my servers up here. Now in this case, if we're going private, 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 underline that, that means there is a wall between you and the internet to where the only thing that these guys are able to do in the cloud is come across this VPN and access your company. It's your own little server cluster in the cloud. Great, you're there, but it is only able to get to the internet if you decide to route it out your own internet connection. So our business in Eugene, Oregon receives the traffic from the servers and I could set it up to route out that way. That'd be fine, but it is cut off. It is severed from the Amazon Web Services internet connection up here. Good. So that's one scenario. Now the other one makes a lot of sense to where I can now build this VPN. I can still get all the benefits, you know, down here. Maybe, I, maybe this is why I went in the first place. This, I have 10 subnets down here. So it would have been a conflict if I was using Amazon's default 10 subnets and you might end up with a duplicate IP address or something. So you decide to create your own subnet right here. Uh, and access these servers, but you still want them to be able to use the internet connection at AWS uh, and get out that way. So now you've got the best of both worlds. That's the idea of VPC, complete control of your network fabric.